I'd like to welcome you to 3CI training video series. During this series, we'll be talking about configuring AAA on a Cisco router. Let's begin with talking about configuring AAA using the local user database. Now, as with any uh, network, unauthorized access to the network creates the potential for network intruders to gain access to sensitive network equipment and services. Now, Cisco uh, provides the AAA architect uh, provides a means to address this threat through a systematic, scalable access security. And so, when we talk about conf uh, using uh, configuring AAA, AAA stands for authentication, authorization, accounting, and auditing. Now, authentication is the process by which users and administrators prove that they are who they claim to be. So, this could be such as a username and password, token ring, or challenges and responses. Now, when we refer to authorization, we're talking about what are they authorized to do. So, after the user or the administrator has been authenticated, the uh, authorization service are used to decide which resources he's allowed to access, as well as which operations they may perform. So, if they have command exact privileges, they'll be able to do those types of commands. Now, the last part of the AAA deals with accounting and auditing. So it does, not only can I can say, hey, you're authorized to do this, or you've been authenticated to do this, you're authorized to do this, but I'm also going to have an auditing trail of exactly what you did and how long you did it. So after being authenticated and authorized, the users or the administrators begin to access the resources. It's the role of the administrator and a, or excuse me, it's the role of the accounting and the auditing to record what the user or administrator actually did with this access. Using AAA to configure local user database authentication. Now, this is generally only going to be a three-step process. If I'm going to do a complete AAA um, setup, and where I'm going to include authentication, authorization, and accounting, generally we're going to follow, or we will follow, six steps. Now, for a complete um, setup, we, uh, these are the steps that we'll follow. First thing we're going to do is secure assets to the privilege exact mode. In there, we're going to be uh, controlling things like the console, VTY, and Telnet. The next step would be to enable the AAA process. Now, this is done using the AAA-model command within the global configuration. And this enables the AAA process. Now, the next step is, is going to be configure AAA authentication list. And in this list, we're going to define either we're going to use local, we're going to use a default list, uh, we'll use the... Um, a AAA or AAA services such as ACS and then the next step we're going to configure authorization we're going to configure what these users once they authenticate what they're authorized to do and then we're going to configure accounting and this accounting is going to um, give us um, a list or times that this user logged in and what uh, tasks that he performed and then the last step would be to verify our configurations Now let's begin by going to our router and in, on our router we'll set there and we'll enter the uh, basic commands just to get uh, authentication going for our con zero. So the first step would be I'd have to go to my router, log in, and uh, get to the global configuration. Now to go to global configuration I'll just type the command config t. And here this moves me to the uh, global configuration mode. Now. The next step would be to issue the AAA new model command. Now, just as a fact of doing this command could inadvertently lock you out of your Cisco router. So be very careful in enabling this command. Now, the next thing is gonna, I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um, a username. In here we'll use the username command. Username, uh, I'll just say bill space password Cisco. Then we'll hit enter. Now, the next step would be to sit there and go to a line interface or to um, invoke the login services. So from here I'm going to go to, uh, excuse me, I'm going to go to the line con zero and here I'm going to set there and I'm going to uh, configure a password here so um, I'll do password um, 
password Cisco, and then I'll say I'm going to evoke login local. Now, what this command is doing is actually telling it to log in local using their local user database. So, what I'll do is I'll hit enter. Ah, it doesn't like this command, so let's see what I've done wrong here. <clears throat> so, let's just use a question mark here. So, I'll have to do an authentication uh, local. Now, in here is telling me I can't do it local. Well, because it couldn't find that, so I have to come back and define that um, local name in here. So, in here I'll use the triple A authentication authentication login and then we'll just use keyword default and then we'll give it a name of local. Now, if I do, uh, I do a control Z, we'll do a show run here real quick and verify that our commands are in here. As you can see, I've got my um, AAA authentication login default local I've got my username. We've got our username Bill. And um, if you noticed here, though, we don't see anything on here. Oh, excuse me. Let me do show run again. I sat there and hit the incorrect key. We'll go down, and now we can see line con zero has the login authentication local. Now that local is going to tie it in with the uh, local database. So let's go ahead and verify this and make sure it works. So I'll hit enable. It's going to prompt me for a username, Bill, and then I'll pr provide the password. Now to get back into global configuration, I'll, I'll supply that password, and now we're back in. So now that I've verified it, I can go ahead and um, write this to memory. Now there'll be a couple ways we can do this. I can do copy, run, start, or for me, I just like to do WR, write mem. Thank you for using 3CI training. I hope you had a I hope this uh, video was very informative for you and I hope to see you again in the future.